Looking for a stable Android 12 based custom home for your mutual device, Redmi Note 9s Pro, Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro, any of these devices, you can install this build. Tried a lot of Android 12 based custom homes so far, this might be one of the stable ones out there, which is this one I already told you called Project Elixir. Let's find out. This is Project Elixir based on Android 12 and Project Elixir version 1.3 on the best custom rooms out there based on Android 12 and a lot of devices already got this update. This is a little bit old update of course as now this has the general security patch maybe 10 to 15 days old build but yes I tried a lot of custom rooms maybe Evolution X OS which I've tried so far I tried Incent OS I tried Pixel Extended too all those custom rooms might have some minor bugs or performance issues but this one is actually good i'm not comparing it with other custom rooms yet but still it is good that's why i have this build available here for you i made a video on project elixir some time ago and that time this build didn't have any kind of major customizations or ui changes of course and this time in this build i saw some changes in the quick settings panel of course you can see project elixir the clock and etc etc if we move on to the quick settings customizations locks location hotspot etc you can add by just clicking the tiles you don't need to drag and drop all those tiles one thing i just got that's no screenshot tile which is a little bit unfortunate and yes in this Xiaomi in this Redmi Note 9 Pro Mute Tool Port Mute Tool build, we have the Xiaomi parts included, and that's why we have the FPS info. Let me show you by enabling that FPS info tile. If I go and over this, click this, you will see that FPS info overlay is working perfectly fine. So, this is very good for some of the users who always love to see how much FPS they're getting in games or etc. Of course, it's Android 12, so gaming dashboard, of course, included. I'm not sure about this one and this. Project Elixir is also one of those custom homes which includes Pixel Launcher by default. All the Pixel goodies, all the Pixel features are already included in this build. Pixel features, for example, the live translate features, adaptive connectivity, and bit more customizations, including that some other options in Google Photos, etc. Everything is good. This build is absolutely good to use on your device. I think so as also I'm using this on my device as my daily driver for now. Let's see how it goes. The camera which you get by default is the Google Camera Go Edition. Google Camera Go Edition which means you have better image quality compared to that normal Snapdragon camera which you get in all the AOSP based custom rooms. Of course no MIUI camera unfortunately but don't worry about that it is still good and you can use this thing to click pictures on a device, record videos on a device that looks good. If you compare it with the normal Gcam, of course, it's not that great. But yes, you have the option to use Gcam, of course, Gcam, Gcam with 8K video recording, Gcam with some other other, other interesting modes. I have a video on my Hindi channel, so make sure to check out those videos to download best Gcams for a device available on techcurrent.co.in. Make sure to check out those. I use this app to check out the safety and status right now. What is this? This is called YASNAC, yet another SafeNet attestation checker. I found this app more better, more unique compared to that normal same SafeNet status checkers app. So I think so. It's good. The results, of course, you need to think about. Yes, it's good. It's passing. Safety and status is passing without root, as I just said, as I just said previously at the start of this video, that I'm using this build on my device as my daily driver build for now. No root, so yes, I'll be able to use banking apps, etc. Safeness status has no issues. This also plays an important role, of course, if you use Google Photos Unlimited Backup, that's already there with free storage for full resolution photos. One thing just I got some time ago that it was having some issues account disabled, etc. No confirmation yet. So yes, this is still included. If you want to use it, you can. If you don't want to, up to you. Let's take a look at settings, of course, settings almost same as like Android 12 base builds, all the Android 12 builds, it's almost same here. You have the Xiaomi parts included, you have some security related settings, no face unlock, no app lock, unfortunately yet. Let me show you by moving into the, like Xiaomi parts, Xiaomi parts, of course, me sound enhancer and Xiaomi parts, I'm not talking about the all the official devices because all the official devices, I don't think we so have this option, but Xiaomi devices or I'm just talking about this Redmi Note 9 Pro or mutual devices build this includes this option xiaomi parts we just saw fps info xiaomi dolls ambient display all these options are already available here so if you want to give it to try these things you can you have these options by default available and of course some features 
are already available which means you don't need any kind of routing access any kind of root access for that you don't need to install magisk i saw some apps are still not be able to bypass the root so yes uh, some users will definitely recommend without routing the devices to use these custom rooms of course using some banking apps of course i'm using those didn't got any kind of issues so far as if you want to use this device if you want to use this custom room without routing you can privacy dashboard of course a good feature available in android 12 based custom rooms that's of course included this is project elixir based on android 12 so which means all the android 12 features are of course present security section as i just told you that you don't have the face unlock you don't have the app lock yet the device is encrypted so yes if you want to access the internal storage from custom recovery after installing this build on your device you will not be able to so keep this thing in your mind make sure you have sd card to install any kind of extra files any kind of modes on your device if you want to but i'm i will not recommend you because this stock looks better for papers and style you just got accessibility let me show you one more thing if i move the text and display and bold text option you can change the boldness of the font some users didn't knew about that but some users know about that if you didn't knew then this is option available for you i just want to let you know of course maybe you already know about that you are smart enough wallpapers and style same kind of options you just saw that i have applied the custom wallpaper colors from this wallpaper the pre-installed or not actually pre-installed but already wall I, I have applied that wallpaper on my device upgrade etc it's there working perfectly fine monet theming etc is working perfectly fine so far you can customize the colors if you want to as this is pixel launcher this is not a launcher launcher so that's why all the pixel features are included display sector does not have any kind of features or extra things available for you as i already told you battery etc has options for you like thermal profiles and battery usage adaptive preferences etc you can wipe the stats if you want to if you want to check out the battery stats or battery percentage battery backup from a proper percentage from exact percentage then you can if you move on to this essence option where you have a customizations for you one thing i got to know that let me show you those things network traffic indicator 4g icons status bar items which you can enable if you want to status bar icons which you can enable here if you disable this combined signal icons in some custom rooms i got that if you want to enable or disable this option you need to reboot your device and in this one you don't need to you can simply click this it will automatically restart the system ui and after disabling that combined system ui you will not be able to select the volt icon so make sure to select the proper or good volt icon whichever you want on a device then you can simply disable that combined signal icons option you're good to go other things are kind of same clock options which you can customize if you want to same kind of things with battery you can customize the battery percentage if you want to enable or disable that some brightness slider related customization i'm showing you some settings which i do on my devices so if you like these settings you can apply these settings on your device too and the lock screen and all the options are already fine lock screen charging info of course there with same kind of things with advanced restart i'll definitely use this playback control vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect etc other things i've already shown you this was all from today's short and simple video about this project elixir a good stable android 12 if you want to install this thing, link is in the description. This is all. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air.